Welcome to Carbondale, Illinois, in this edition of the Kyle Quarter video blog. Jay Elson from Midco SN, joined now by the voice of the Coyotes, Joe Van Gore. And Joe, Carbondale, Illinois, USD taking on number 16, Southern Illinois, here at Saluki Stadium on Saturday night, 6 o'clock to kickoff. And uh, coming into this one, obviously, the Missouri Valley Football Conference opener. And this league, uh, as we saw throughout the non-conference schedule, has uh, certainly asserted itself as, as probably the best I don't know if it's even arguable at this point that it's the best league in all of FCS football. 23-1 and one against FCS opponents uh, during the non-conference schedule. But coming into the league, knowing how difficult it's going to be, it seems to me that this USD football team a uh, little more confident than they were, say, two years ago when they were doing this for the first time. Well, went winless in the Valley two years ago, went 3-5 uh, and five, uh, last year, and now starting the uh, Valley at uh, you know one of their better teams, at least uh, ranked uh, this year, and a team they haven't played before in uh, Southern Illinois. But I think uh, this team has learned to, uh, to compete in the Valley. Uh, uh, the win at uh, Northern Iowa uh, last year in, in double overtime got the – well, the big gorilla off their back of winning on the road uh, in the Valley. So, uh, But uh, it'll be a, a huge, huge challenge. Offense, defense, special teams for the uh, Coyotes on Saturday night because Southern Illinois is pretty good in all three of the phases. Yeah, so Lucas come into this game 4-1 and one overall. The loss coming to Big Ten team in Purdue just a couple of weeks ago. But they opened their conference schedule last week against Western Illinois, a 34-17 win in that one for Dale Lennon who is the head coach in his seventh year. And if that name rings a bell, it should, because uh, from the former North Central Conference days, this is a guy that Kyle fans should be very well accustomed to. That's right. Dale played uh, football uh, for uh, North Dakota as a running back, was their longtime defensive coordinator before he became a head coach, won a Division II title, and was runner-up uh, in another year. So he's quite familiar with, uh, with the Coyotes in the respect of the program. Uh, as far as schemes go, I think uh, Joe Glenn uh, and, and the coaching staff know what to expect from uh, Dale Lennon mm -hmm. because he's basically kept the same defensive philosophies that he has when he was with North Dakota, and now he has taken over yep. uh, defensive coordinator duties from uh, Bubba Schweigert, who left Southern Illinois to go back and be the head coach of North Dakota. Yeah, small world. Huh? Uh, Dale Lennon in his seventh season, as we said. Uh, and since leaving from North Dakota to come here to take over the Saluki program, he's had some good times, he's had some bad times. And, and this program uh, has some history, has some tradition, and so people uh, have been a little bummed out with the fact that they haven't done better the last couple of seasons. Uh, but if you look at what they've done so far this year, some of the talent on this roster, there's no question that they're headed in the, the right direction. I know you had a chance to talk to Dale on the phone earlier this week. How does he feel? Feel about his football team right now? I think he feels uh, very good. He's got a, a tight end, Michael Pruitt, that's going to be playing uh, in the league uh, on Sundays. He's an All-American. He's a preseason uh, Valley pick. Uh, this is a guy that uh, at a tight end uh, sees uh, a lot of action. So the uh, Coyote linebackers in secondary are going to have to be aware of where he's at uh, everywhere. But as in the Valley, everybody uses the run to uh, set up the pass. Even though the Salukis are good in the passing game, look for the Salukis to try to pound it uh, right at the Coyotes uh, Saturday night early and often. And a good test for this USD defense, which has shown improvement over the last couple of games, particularly against the run. Particularly against the run, of course, and this is a, a patchwork defensive line mm -hmm. that they're uh, working with. Uh, Nick Jacobs uh, still out. Hopefully we'll be back uh, in the next uh, couple weeks. But uh, uh, guys like, uh, well, Drew Eddings, of course, who was the Valley uh, Defensive Player of the Week after the Northern Arizona game, is solid on uh, one side. And the uh, other players like John Mogg and uh, also the others, the redshirt freshmen, the true freshmen that are playing in the defensive line are getting valuable experience. But uh, they will face a Southern Illinois line that is huge and, uh, and hard to get around. Now, on the offensive side for the Coyotes, uh, you know, I talked with Alex Heinert earlier this week about the importance of balance and, and establishing a little bit more through the passing game. Obviously, we've seen what the running game could do to this point in the season, and no reason at this point to think uh, that that won't continue in the Valley with as successful as they've been. Uh, but no real secret here. You're going to have to be two-dimensional. Uh, you're going to have to be able to throw the football. What do you expect the Coyotes to do to try and get Ryan Sager, uh, Riley Donovan, Josh Vanderbotten more involved through the air? I think the Coyote offensive line has to give Ryan uh, time to throw. Back in that Northern Arizona game, uh, when Ryan couldn't find anything, he ran and ended up leading the uh, the Coyotes uh, in rushing. But with uh, you know Trevor Bauma, 
with uh, Jasper Sanders back uh, after that shoulder injury that he had in the uh, Northern Arizona game. Of course, Jordan Roberts is out this week because of a concussion. Look from Corey Kilgore to get some uh, mm -hmm. uh, reps as well. That offensive line's got to give uh, Ryan time to throw and to get uh, you know both Riley and Josh involved in the passing game. Not so much uh, vertical, but uh, you know the stuff that's uh, more manageable to mm -hmm. what uh, Ryan can do. All right, it's going to be an exciting day. It's the start of a new season, really, for the University of South Dakota as they open up again. Missouri Valley Football Conference play here at Saluki Stadium in Carbondale, Illinois at 6 o'clock tomorrow night against the number 16 team in the country from Southern Illinois. For Joe Van Gore, I'm Jay Elson. Remember to tune in tomorrow night on Twitter throughout the game at Elson Midco SN for live updates. Thank <laughs> you.